within Christianity, what has happened is when Christ talked about worshipping God, there was a time when Emperor Constantine, who was ruling, he wanted to unite the pagan. He wanted to unite the people who worship many gods. Isis, Osiris, Diana, Venus, Apollo, you know all these gods, sons and daughters of God, husband God, daughter God, whatever. That's what the Christian Romans and pagans believe. So they wanted to say, look, you're, it's not alien totally, you know, what I'm asking you to believe. We also have a God and another son of God and the Holy Spirit. So it's a little bit less than what you believe. That's how he was trying to restrict the belief. But in doing so, what he's done, he has totally changed the monotheistic belief and religion of Christ. Christ came to tell people that you should worship him only. And what we see today, the Orthodox people doing, not only Christ, they're associating partner with God. They sing Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, and then praying to Mary. As if Mary can listen to your prayers. When Mary and Jesus are creation okay. of God. Now I don't have to listen to you anymore. Because we are not on the same path. No, that's, so you clearly understood, it's a different path. But you need to be on the same path of I Jesus Christ. You help me. But they were walking away, it's not my fault, is it? I was, I've been trying for 32 years, man. I didn't get yeah. anywhere. Did you marry her knowing that it's going to be difficult? Or you didn't think at that time? I was a Muslim, I'm allowed to marry now. Yes, but you didn't think at that time that it might be difficult. Your daughter. I remained Muslim, she your, didn't change. Brother, your daughter, is she a Muslim? Yes. She Alhamdulillah. Is. Very important. That Keep on trying. Keep on trying. You're the man. You're the man in the family. Keep on trying. May Allah strengthen this brother and uh, let him have the ability to convey the message of Islam to his wife. But clearly, she understood the message and that's why she just left. Because she realized there's a different path, not the path that she is following. This is not the path of Abraham and Moses and Jacob and Solomon and all the prophets of the past. So we ask also brothers, young brothers, if you're trying yourself to marry a Christian or a Jew, think about whether they're really someone who's muhsanat, as the Quran says. Think about whether they're really Ahlul Kitab, do they really believe in God? Or are they associating partner with Allah? And think about the consequences that whether your children is going to be someone who you will find difficult to make them a Muslim and they become the, the religion of your future wife, a Jew and a Christian. So it's important that before you take the step of marriage, leaving the Muslim sisters, when there are plenty around, and you just go for, because for whatever, you know, prefer, preference you have, you want to marry an English woman, whatever, because that's what you are. Think of the consequences. You've just seen one example in real life. He's been trying for this 30 years. And I don't know how they operate in their homes, the relationship and so on and so forth. I don't expect it to be very easy. Okay? So this is a reminder for our Muslim brothers, those who want to marry people from other than uh, Islamic community. You know, think twice. Because are you trying to trove a path, to follow a path in which you're going to be suffering a lot in misery? Like my brother here was suffering for 30 years in a way. So, why aren't you taking the step to marry something from a Muslim family, a Muslim sister? Ask yourself, rather than creating some problem. I'm not saying every Christian that you go marry will have issues, but it's possible that they will have issues, and family will have issues with bringing up children. They will have issues with what you eat at home. She might want to eat pork on the same table, and alcohol on the same table. I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to just walk away from it? Um, she might want to worship God, you know, in her own bedroom, which is your bedroom too. And you know this is associating partners with God and so on. So, you know, there's a lot of things to consider. So, I don't want to prevent you from marrying Ahl al-Kitab when Allah has allowed Allah has allowed and made it permissible. But what I'm asking you to look at the consequences 
that you may fall into when you take that step when the other alternative, the good alternative is already there. Okay? Barakallah fikum wa akhir dawana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah.